You know, search for me about tech. Today I'm here to unbox the DJI Mini 2 SE, one of the best maker of drone in the market so far, which is DJI. DJI is good into more of uh, cameras, accessories, and all stuff. Uh, unfortunately, it's not 4K drone, it's just 2.7K resolution. So, without further ado, I will unbox it and let's. this video i would like to apologize about the length of this video um but also uh if possible you guys can subscribe to my channel because i've been doing so many videos but i have not seen uh, many people usually put some like but the followers are not growing and if you motivate me and keep me doing more videos about new technologies about whatever come in the markets as new for your day-to-day or -day, uh, travel use please help me subscribe like and share invite your friends and advise your friends about new technology coming up on the market so without further ado guys i've i've told you initially that this dji is is the is one of the new dji mini drone that has been released recently and uh, it's quite light why Based on the regulation in different countries, they usually are, they are not allowing some kind of drone to travel with. Before operating a drone, you need to get a license to operate the drone. One of the rules about the regulation is uh, if the drone is under certain of weight, you are able to use it in your country. And even within the country, there are areas only you will be able to use it. And this drone is up to 49 gram, guys. Here we have some propellers. Some propellers, additional propellers. This drone does not come with a collision detection. You can easily use it to hit a wall and, and get those propellers damaged. So for that, they gave a set, two pair, two pair of propeller so that whenever you damage it, you can easily replace it with the help of the, the screwdriver, which is here. Now let's go directly to the remote very easy it's so compact and i i'm not surprised about the quality of the uh, their material because i've done a recent video which is the gg osmo pocket 3 the quality of the accessories and all was quite amazing even the camera resolution those are the controllers uh up and down left right rotate whatever this is the power power button power button you press one you press again and it's on and it will be blinking for you to connect the drone so once the drone is on it will automatically link you don't need any additional configuration and those are the speeds the speed of the uh, the speed of the drone here is a cinema cinema mode normal mode and sport mode sport mode like it go aggressively the speed is quite quite high 
and the maximum speed by the way is uh, 38 km per hour and uh, they, they hide those two those two stick for the controllers so you just need to remove it and attach it screw it here and it's so easy to operate okay and this is the zooming i mean this is the zooming for the camera of this so you zoom in zoom out and this is the shooting you shoot this is a record as well as a picture and here is to change the modes the mode of the the mode of the camera and video so uh, this fn button here yeah, is when you click on it you rotate the camera 90 degrees down and you rotate it back like you know well if the camera is viewing this side as soon as you click on it it will rotate to 90 degrees and see you from down directly okay and i believe and this is the type c charger and he, as well as he has a speaker we have this button here rth which is return to home whenever you fly in a drone it's very easy to lose it in there because uh based on as per the transmission between the controller and the drone the drone can go 10 kilometers away and keep transmitting the data to the remote you lost it or whenever the drone get disconnected from the remote you just need to press all and press this button it will load then uh, in a few seconds it will start coming back to where you flew from so you don't need to worry when the remote get disconnected it will automatically return back to home as well as when you don't you don't know where's the drone right now in the air you just need to press it, it will come back to where it is. And also, when you're flying the drone and the battery level is uh, reach the minimum level of the f drone to fly back to home, it will automatically activate and return the drone back to you. So this remote, that's, that's what I can say about the remote. So let's go back to the drone himself. Uh, as I said, it's very light, very light drone. This is the latest. This is a, a professional drone, but with uh, light, with light weight actually. So quite easy to operate. You just need to um, move those those handle and the second one, fourth one. So we have the drone, the gimbal camera. You see, it's quite sensitive. When I, when and and also doesn't mean this sensitivity will affect the um, will affect the the stability of the camera. When shooting, that's one of the uh, one of the things that shocked me a lot was when I was shooting, the camera was the stability of the video was so high. When I say so high, you can't feel that it's shaking. You can't feel because those propellers keep turning. When it turn, you will feel like because I compare. I've seen some drones where when they are flying and recording, it, it keep like. The image keeps shaking, the video keeps shaking. But for this one, it's kind of like you are a, it's a professional that holds a camera and trying to shoot with more care. Since I've been using the DJI as my pocket tree, I'm like, no, I'm not gonna get any device which into cameras or video or anything that related to um, recording, which is not DJI because DJI is pro they are they are they are specified only on that. You know, maximum flight time of the drone is 31 minutes as per, um, uh, as per the manufacturer. But technically, when you're using it, it will fly like 20 to 25 minutes maximum. That's the, that's the, uh, that's how, how less flight time is the battery, which you need to get a spare battery for you to be able to use it for a uh, long time. I didn't get the combo option. The combo option comes with uh, two batteries, additional plus the uh, battery charging case which I didn't go for that, but of course, due to this short time, I need to get a battery so that I can be able to use uh, the, the drone without charging it for like in an hour time. And the battery can be fixed behind behind the drone here. It's also built with wind resistant. Now let's talk about the pro and cons of the this D, D, DJI Mini 2 SE. I wish I know initially I should have gotten a DJI, um, DJI Mini 4 Pro, DJI Mini 3 Pro. All those have a 4K, all those come with a 4K resolution. But even this with 2.7K, believe me, get the shoots with the drone and see the resolution. It's quite high. It's very clear. So those 4K are for professional when you want to use it for a clip or cinema. But with the 27 
even is clear, the clarity is more than your mobile. And trust me, I've done it. I've done, I've done some testing and I see it. I saw that it was so clear. Anyway, it doesn't have collision detection. So when I say collision detection, when the drone is flying and you don't pay attention, it can easily hit anything and fall down. And when it fell, of course, it will affect the drone. In the Mini 2 SE, they did not integrate the uh, collision detection. Consider that option. Do not buy a drone without a collision detection, unless you are a professional. When you are a professional, then you can play around. You can, you know, it will be easy for you to control the drone. But as a beginner, do not go without that. My next drone will definitely have that option. And uh, the second thing is the battery. This is one of the thing DJI did not really pay attention. But of course, that is a commercial. They are trying to make you buy the additional battery, the combo option, so that it will help them, like, so that they earn more than, than what you spend. Like, now let's talk about the price. The price was quite low, $280, $280 uh, if you go on their website, but on Amazon and all, you can get it 300 you can get it to, it depends who, it depends the seller, you know? So budget wise, I believe that drone is recommended for who a beginner. The only issue I did not like about this drone, there's no collision detection and there's no also follow me. Follow me will help you when you just need to set it and it will record you when you are moving, running or doing any activity, it will keep recording you and follow you when you are moving. So same way it's, they have done it in the um, DJI Pocket 3, it keep rotating wherever you go, but it doesn't follow. And as a drone, the option of follow me should be there, but this time in the DJI 2 Mini SE, they did not integrate it, which I'm really disappointed about them, but uh, of course. It helps those people that does not have enough uh, budget for drone to at least operate and then use the like to purchase and then get and then use the drone. So uh, now we will do the testing more outside. Then we will see. Hi guys, uh, it's me again as usual. Now I'm here for the practice. I need to set it up and fly it so that we can try and see how it's gonna be. So uh, I will power it on one time and second time press. I have my remote ready, remote ready as well as the, the application is already launched. So um, I just need to wait for a few seconds for the remote to connect to the, with the drone. And here we go. To fly it, you press, you press boot control down. And you can see, that's triggered. I, I believe you can see that, right? Uh, otherwise, land yeah uh one more time i'm gonna show you again one more time there is a button on the application right here i just need to click on it and hold the take off button which we charge and you can see and i have it here on my remote you see how stable it is i will start recording it and we can see yeah it's going up and then forward yeah, here we go. Yes, guys. It will overfly all the city. Everywhere I want it to go, it will go. Let's come back here. Yeah, uh, it's going forward, yes. All the way down, I can control. I can see my city. This is the city I'm in. And then I can turn around. And this is the building, so let's move again, all the way there. And it will show me at which height it is over here, as well as the distance, the distance from the home, the return to home, okay? So here also you can see the map, the map of the drone fly. So what I can do, I wanted to show you the return to home button so in case i lost my drone i don't know where it is i don't know how to take it back home i can just press the icon on the screen and i can click land when i click land it will automatically land from where it is currently 
which might cause some uh, accident or something. So or I can just press and hold again the return to home button, then you will start hearing the sound, the beeping sound from the remote controller. Or otherwise, I can still press on this home button, yeah, then automatically, you see, it's trying to adjust. It's adjusting, and you can hear the beep, you can hear the beep sound from the controller. And it will go all the way from the first setting because in the in the application I can set the height of uh, the height of returning to home. So if I set it on 50 or 100 based on the city I am, it depends the height of the building. So for me I set it as 100 meters. So that whenever it's flying and I get I lost it, I can just when I press the return home, it has to go up first till 100 meters and flew back to the um, initial uh, to the beach to his initial position initial um, location that he flew from and now it's almost here which I can just show you is a up landing back Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but it's flying all the way back. As I told you initially, uh, it doesn't really catch the location it flew from, but at least it comes nearby you so that you can know that your drone is there. So landing it. I'm Yes, yes, and it's landed. So that's quite easy and simple. Okay, here, before I fly the drone, based on the regulation of each country, I have to make sure that where I'm, fly I'm trying to fly the drone is not prohibited or it's not prohibited so that I will not be involved into any fine or something. The application name is DJI Fly actually. So before you fly, make sure that you go to you, when you open the application, you go to this option called before you fly. The machine needs and you, you can check and see in which area among your area are not allowed to fly. So I base in UAE, uh, um, I base in UAE and there are se several points when I'm not allowed to fly. As you can see on this application, at the left, like in the blue, the blue spot is where I am. So next to me directly, there is a restricted zone which I am not allowed to fly at all. I'm not, I, don't, I don't have the right to move my drone to that area. When I move the drone next to the area, the remotes get disconnected from the drone and the drone will fly back to return to home, to, my, uh, to, to the initial point when it flew from. So that helps to avoid uh, getting into trouble with, uh, with the government or with the, um, with the regulation actually. So as you can see in this map, there are several locations where I'm not allowed to fly the drone. But this area is okay. I can still fly it because I'm still into uh, the authorized zone where I can fly my drone, okay? So uh, just want to add that to you guys. And, and to do that, you, you just have to click and choose the location you are. I'm in Dubai, and from here I can click in Dubai, and then choose the choose uh, my camera type, and it will let me know the restriction area where I'm not allowed to fly the drone. So one more thing, we have so many setup on the on it, and as soon as the drone is on, this connection guide will automatically connect to the the remote will automatically connect to the drone and will allow me to uh, take off my drone. Uh, from there. So, as I said, here it is, and uh, I believe you guys have have said everything from the beginning. So, please, guys, uh, subscribe, follow, and share with your friends. Let them let them see what is about in your day-to-day -day life. Uh, gadget you can make, you can get and get your life easy. So, see you next time again.